over here. How much did that camera cost? Actually, it was really cheap. It was like a hundred, maybe one hundred twenty. From and so the mic is connected to it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Over there. I'm gonna have to get that. So well, actually, I can make this damn video now. Since you're here, and I got you know yeah. the energy already. I said, oh, he, he look like he's sleeping. I said, no, that's that weed. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I basically just wanted to come through to you, you know, tell you guys that um, I will not be really mass producing mukbangs anymore. <laughs> You say that so perfect, mukbang. I'm like, That's what? how you say it. It's mukbangs. <laughs> oh, I was fucking to say you will absolutely, <laughs> y'all. Y'all, this is Wiley. If you if you're not familiar with him, go to the Wiley show. This is Wiley, my friend, my good friend from way, 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 way back. But no, you know, we eat. <laughs> I thought I was gonna come and eat some chicken, crab legs, and with the scissors no, and so dip the sauce and with the. Oh, we got crab legs. You want some? We got lobster tail too. No, I don't even like to eat that because it's too much. Now you're scared because you're talking I good it shit. It, it, it's like you gotta cut the meat. Out. You gonna cut it open and let me suck it? You just gonna cut it first so I can suck it? No. You you're it not first. a baby. I'm your man. <laughs> what we came here to discuss today, you guys, was um, I I'm. I'm not going to be mass producing mukbang videos anymore on this channel. Um, now I'm not saying that I'm not going to do them anymore at all. They will be here and there, very few, far in between, or whatever the case is. But I really want to focus on my music and I want to focus on my business that I have going on. Um, and mukbanging is just, I mean, I love it and it is brought, it's connected us. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's connected us. So, you know, I just I just want to put it out there and, and just say that if you guys, I can understand if you guys don't want to follow anymore, you know, because you are here just for the food or whatever the case is, I understand that. But Child, if you really fun. rock with me and you really want to see this journey that I'm about to go on, because I'm going to take you everywhere with me, period. They're going to follow. I hope that you guys do. I don't know why I'm sitting here smiling like this. <laughs> Cause like, this is an upgrade. Like, I'm like, okay, hello, <laughs> hi. Yeah. Should you bring your plates? I guess not, because you're not doing muk. How you say it? Mukbang. Mukbang. Muk. 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 I I I love the eating, but 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 I understand that you want to go on a journey. But I think they will. I think no. I know many people will follow. Right. And you will have those who like, thank you, even though I was here to see you eat a crab leg. But since you're talking about taking us on this journey, I'm here for it. Right. Because um, it's okay to change. It's a YouTube channel, meaning that you can offer as much content as you want. And I feel like I, I have more to offer than just Absolutely. sitting and eating I would love camera to see and all this stuff. I enjoy it thoroughly. Music. And I say kudos to every yes. mukbanger out there that's doing it and is killing it. I love, and I've made connections with a great deal of those of those individuals. Absolutely. And you know, I just say kudos to them. They continue on their journey, and everybody just go and do their own thing, and whatever makes them happy. Me personally, I love doing mukbangs. It just won't be every day. I really want to focus on the music, and I want to focus on my business, and I want you guys to come along with me on that journey. So, yes, that's what this channel will be geared towards. Now, the name Fat Belly Fell will no longer be popping up. So when you see Jacquez pop up, that's me. Yes, that's me. So you, so we gonna have two kings of R&B. I, I take the prince. I take the prince of R&B. I'll take the prince of R&B. I'm content with. That. I would, whatever, but but this is the thing. I want to see you in the studio. I want to see you review music. All of that. I want to see you actually talk about artist development or talk about which labels is hot and mm -hmm. talk about the verses but I would love to hear your input on the verses battle. Absolutely. You know you want to hear it now? You know, I would love get to get into it. I would love Oh, you talking about the brandy and the, the brandy Monica. and Monica. So, okay, now you know I'm very I'm very in tune with R and B. Yes. I know R and B like the back Anita of my Anita Baker is your favorite. Anita Baker is my all time How favorite. How do I know that? Because you're my friend. Oh yeah. You're my friend. I said I need to make up. So I, I was saying, let me let me get some wine and play a little bit of, I need to put on my deep voice. Yeah. What would you do if I do that? I wouldn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but you know, <laughs> Anita Baker is my favorite. Yes. She's my favorite. And um, I just, you know, I take, and I, I'm an R&B singer, you know. Yes. And I just take it, I take R&B to the core. Like, you know, and Brandy and Monica, they are legends. And I was, I was extremely excited to, um, y'all gotta excuse me, I got this thing on my teeth. Um, I was extremely excited when they announced that they were going to do the verses because I know that that was going to go up. And it did. You know, but there was some things on there that was a little cringy. Yeah. I.E. Brandy and her poems. <laughs> All the extraness, you know. We go up for Brandy. Yes. Brandy do her thing vocally. She's not. Let me not say all that because she <laughs> Yes. She was in that. She, she ain't the vocal bottom. Huh? I was about to say she ain't the vocal bottom. Although she is the vocal. But let's talk about vocal bottom. But see, what we got that you. He's really a, a we're Brandy. We're talking fan. about vocal arrangement harmonies. Right. Uh, you, you, it hurt. It takes you on a journey with her voice. Right. Most people took her style from Dark Child, Full Moon. You listen to that, you know that's a lit album. You see oh, how she absolutely. take her voice. Yes, that's that Full Moon album. Come, like. That Full Moon album is that, nasty. That's the net. That's her voice. That That's not too many artists today can match up. And that's make Brandy different than Monica because Monica don't have that much range. Yeah, but she's like very Brand relatable. But Monica is very relatable and she have the the anthems. You know, she, you know, Trenches is dope. I download Trenches mm -hmm. with Lil Baby. I love Monica when she did, she, I, she slaughtered Keisha Cole record. That was a Monica record. That, you know, so I thought that verse about it was great for R&B music. It beat out the rappers. And R&B don't really do that. But you're looking at the queens of R&B. What R&B was. The architects of the of the 90s R&B. Them women were 12, 13 years old. Yeah. Kids making hits. Sounded like grown adults. Grown adults. Especially Monica. You know, so I wish them both well. I would love for a tour. I think that's something I would take my beautiful wife one day. Or a husband, or both, because I would love to have a wife and a husband. To be honest with you, cut. Was on the right, one in the front, one in the back. I, you know, I, I'm just open. But I'm looking forward to your journey. I'm looking forward to no whole but and, and with me, I just tell baby, when you have that camera on, I'm gonna be like Monique, just be free, baby. Just be free. Just be free. When that camera come on, be who you want. Absolutely. And be free. And you got the production, you got the equipment, you got the lights. Only thing now is just you. Giving the world you, and he, the reason why he's giving me the pep talk because like I I'm one of them kind of people like I always feel like I have to check in with my supporters to make sure they're okay with me making certain moves or whatever, and I know that that may not be necessary yeah. all the time, but yeah. it's just yeah. me, you know, it's yeah. just me. Yeah, and, and and then it's okay to be that way, but then when you offer them that, kind, they're gonna appreciate it, and come back a year from now, you're like, wow, look, we had a good place. And when you're in the moment, I don't receive the growth for me. I don't. I don't see it. I don't sense it because I'm. You I'm working over oh, the go, next video. Right. I never will be able to get to have, out to just experience it. So what I tell you is continue to work. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the comments. Sometimes don't even read the comments. And then other times read it and let it fuel you and respond to it with that energy because right. that keeps them engaged. Like when they call me cockeyed, I got my cockeyed. Y'all got on some clean draws today. I brushed my teeth. Oh, you know, you got to play with the audience and the audience love that and just be you. Absolutely. Don't watch too much content. Just be you. And you'll have I, your I, I've learned that, that I can't watch too, you can't uh, watch much, too much content because you end up trying yeah, to yeah. copy or mimic. Absolutely. Because I stopped watching as much because I used to watch a lot of you. Now I don't. I just talk about a story. If I see your title, I was like, hmm, let me do it the wild way. I might find name 90% of the time. Mm -hmm. I think I got Phanathopist. Did I say that right? But I'll be fucking first. <laughs> but it's okay because let your audience see the growth in you. When I started, I was on a bus, on the train, a snotty nose. You know, I was on the media for the library. Acting up. Yeah. Yeah. Acting up. Acting so, up. But you see the growth and the beauty of it is I'm not that same person I was. They're going to see growth for you. Then next you're going to see us Producing a movie. All right, y'all. We need y'all to audition for our independent film. That's going to happen. We're going to be co-directors or you're going to be bringing a project to A. Wiley. Let's get it set. That's eventually going to happen. Right. But it starts here with that camera in your face. 
It's just like when you're making love. When it's that first time, you be nervous. Do you remember your first time? I don't. It's been a long time. Mm. Long. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, I do remember my first time. I remember his name, but I go give him no press. Uh, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when you put it and you do it, and then next thing you know, it's gonna be like second nature. Well, I'm excited about it. You know, I I was nervous, but I'm I'm excited. More than anything, like I just feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Y'all know I'm very spiritual, and I've, I've, I've and I think it should start with Anita Baker. Tell us why you love Anita Baker. Take us on a journey of her career and some of your hottest hits because like her, I don't never but know. See the thing about that is if she the thing about that is really? that Anita Baker is so like legendary, and she's so like in that realm where it's like but you she's know, only she brought up when it's necessary. But you could talk about her and, I mean, and start a trend. Yeah, no problem. And then you never know. She you got to tell me Because that is just something that you love. And I just want to see your take on why Anita Baker. Why not Patty? Because mm -hmm. I think Patty is more or legendary than Anita Baker. Boy, that's just my personal opinion. That's just and I like opinion. Patty the Bell pies. Uh -huh. I, I love her sweet potato pies and everything like that. But love Patty, but them pies are real, love. real sweet. And I ain't yeah, into sweets I, like that. Yeah, I love I love things that are real sweet and tasty down my throat. I think it's the most amazing. This thing. ain't the Wiley Show. Oh, no, it's not. No. So I got to do a lot of editing. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so yes. Just go on a journey, ladies and gentlemen. And it's going to be a ride. I'm here for it. Just put on your seatbelts. Yeah, it's about to be a really, 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 really good time, you guys. And y'all going to be proud of me because I know a lot of y'all are rooting for me anyway as far as music is concerned. Y'all know I do my little thing when I was when I was doing the mukbangs and I sit and sing or whatever cases. Now y'all get to get the actual, actual. Yes. And that's what's so exciting about it to me because that's something that 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 actually lightens me up. It, it brings my personality out more. Yes. Because, like, when I'm sitting there doing food and all that stuff, yes, I mean, it's fine and all, but you know, it's Sing not really it. my passion. Sing it's it like, is your passion. and then you get sleepy. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> the itis is good to kick in every single time. Singing but, is your passion. Y'all gonna get more of a personality. Yes, Absolutely. As this God bless you. continues on this way. I'm here for it. And my good friend. Yes. He came all the way from Texas. I came all the way from Texas. Oh and, my goodness! And, and, and I love the fact that you're going on this journey. I'm happy that you're doing it because I thought you was going to give up. Because, no, you know, I saw it's was, it's was too much happening too soon for me. Yeah, for me to give up like that. But like, you built a lot with the with the way how you pronounce right. it. right mukbang mukbang. You created a lane because you brought the Chicago style to the community, and I didn't see too many. If if it is, I didn't watch them. But I watch him, and I love the Hero Shika one. I love the one with your best friend. I think that was creative. And to see the LGBT community perspective on food, I think it was incredible. So now you're ready for something else. But that was a great way to open up, you know. Mm -hmm. And shout out to the subscribers that even took the chance out to watch you and still there. Shout and out. guarantee when you go on that next journey, there are going to be some other people in there. Plus with the bookies, you on stage and doing your videos. Yeah, yeah, oh directing your, your cover. I'm so excited. Yeah, and now, all of that yeah. is happening so yeah. fast, and that's the reason why y'all haven't seen me in like I don't know. It's been like a week. Yeah, because I've been so busy trying to like maneuver all of this around and try to make when sure your that song come out. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be great, y'all. And then that's how you're gonna get the followers and stuff. And and you already have IG, it's you gonna have be great. Twitter. I think that social media is, is key to becoming a successful artist because if your social media game is lacking, mm -hmm. you can have the dope song. If you yeah. don't know how to push it on social media, how would people stream it? Right. You know, so having YouTube, if it's a hit record, it will travel. Absolutely. And, other blog and I want to review it, and other bloggers going to review it, and that's how you get more streams and more attention for that record. Yeah, it's going to be great. And it's going to be awesome. We're going to speak that to existing a million streams, two million streams, three million streams, and that'd be and you're independent. So then you want labels calling you like, okay, let's make a bid. I, you know, you want them to call you instead of you trying to track them down. Jay, my brother, I'm speaking yes. that. Come on, Jay-Z. I need that. Come on, Jay-Z. I know you see it. I Come know on. you see it. Come on, Beyonce. Come on. We the Beyonce. She got Chloe and Halle. I, I love Beyonce, but I don't want her over my career. You don't want her over your career? You know, that, well, she has a lot going on within yeah. herself. Hey. Or, or I would love to see, it's not too many labels out there that are taking care of their artists. Most artists like Anita Baker. 
that you worship and follow. They are all in the I wouldn't say worship. Not worship, but That's you know, reach. love I music. really appreciate love her artistry. Very much because so. of Anita Baker's success as an independent artist, she's been independent for decades. Mm. A lot of R and B like Monica and Brandy, they thank Anita Baker for saying, you know, screw the labels, I'm gonna do this independently. So mm -hmm. that's why I love artists like Chance the Rapper. Because you have you I don't think and he's also aware. someone else I would love to connect because every single time I get on this camera. Yeah. Somebody talking about some more. Oh, and uh, he's really good. I think that and he and the way how he I would really like promotion. I, yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And even yes. his brother. Yes, you know, brother. they all like the energy, like ways his brother. I got time. And them lips. You want to cut that. And them lips. Don't cut it. Because I want to marry that man one day. He's off my hand. Hey, hey, and to get me, he know it is, and he don't do too much. He just got he this don't swag. Do too much. He's, he's just, exclusive. That's, he ain't in everybody's face. That's the type of man that I need. <laughs> exclusive. He not in everybody's face. Man. He ain't no Bobby Lights. Everybody, everybody face Chill. showing his ass. Now he's Bob Alicia. But with, but, but with Chance the Rapper, <laughs> I brother, what he's is. very exclusive. And he and, and both of them both are successful. One don't step over the other. They are both in their own lane. Yeah. They remind me of Beyonce and Solange. Both of them in their own lane and their own success. You know, they're both successful. And that will be for you, Jacquez. You're gonna be very successful. Of course they're gonna say, What about the real Jacquez? You're not like that. You are a thief. But this is this is your life. This is your story. This is your name. That's what But what do you mean by that though? But you know when people say, Why are you having a name with somebody that's already out there? That's your and, name. And you know, I got a response for that. Okay. My response to that is that's not even his name. And that's then he spells name. it weird. Yeah, he does. Jaquez, like I say, and I'm going to keep on saying, is on my SSN. That's my mother and my father gave that to me, and that's what I'm going to keep. Absolutely. I've always, like, even on my social media handles, Jaquez has always been out. I, I don't go by any alias. I don't do no. all of that. I and just, you've been doing that feel forever. I'm never, me. <laughs> I was surprised when I saw that it was Fat Belly Fuzz. I'm like, that's you don't, have, that's, you don't have a Fat Belly. I was belly. really trying to, I was really trying to get into the um, element of Mookmah. Yeah, because I'm like, and what it was about. Fat. Not at all. Like, wait, like, I thought I was about to see a fat ass. Like, a lot of people thought that. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, you bones. Mm -hmm. It's just a name. It's basically like a stage name. But I was hit for it, but I'm like, but well, damn. But you knew that. He, what you I'm talking like, I about? I thought he was over. Oh, like, now you can't think nothing because, first and foremost, you know me personally. Oh, yeah. You ain't no I'm subscriber like, that was just coming why up. Why is he that called this fat man fella? I'm like, but I'm here for it, but I understand it because it's the culture of it. But I'm, I'm, here, for, it I'm, I'm here for your next journey. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm excited. And I hope that you guys are too. So after this video is over, the channel will no longer be named Fat Belly Fella. It will just be. Jacquez. Yes. But you still gonna keep the whole videos up. Yeah, I'm gonna put all of those together. They're gonna They're gonna still be up. So yeah, they're still gonna be up. Oh that's great. Absolutely. And I then eventually I you're gonna have people like, I love you for this new Jacquez. And I'm excited about that, man. I'm like, yes. you know, this is just this, this is This lighting is really good on Tupac. It got Tupac just saying. You didn't see somebody in your live? We just did one of his lives. And I tell you, that thing cracked. It was so many people up in there. I had a lot of fun with his subscribers, yeah. his supporters, and all that stuff. And somebody said something about your Tupac shirt. I don't know. I love, I love, because I love Tupac. You know what I'm saying? I, because he was a revolutionary. Yeah. He was, he was a dope. And some of his record, even though I don't know how to say half, I just love the swag. Ain't nothing like a gangsta party, party, da da. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm so mad. And you got me. <laughs> and you know, sorry for the white people on the play, but I love to bump my head. It, it's, I, when I get it, I, I'm not shy. I love to be. And when it's an audience, they be like, "Baby, you only got one life to live. Why not?" <laughs> that in the club, I still can't dance. I, you know, I still can't be. But if I'm a little loose, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little something. Too bad it's COVID. You yeah. can't dance. No. Yeah, we can, but we, but not like as. In the club because you know sweat and stuff like that, but you can enjoy yourself. So I'm probably dancing in my house. It looked like that battery about to go out. Yeah, but I'm so, glad yeah. that we here that we said it. How many minutes are you did twenty? So that's good. That's, pretty, that's really good. So, so, nice so we gotta tell me you got that camera. Right? Absolutely, I'm gonna tell you about everything when we get off. But um, you guys, I love and appreciate all of you guys. Um, yes, this change needs to happen. Yes, it has to happen. Um, I was told to yeah. do so. And I'm not talking about 
from Earth, okay? It's much bigger. I was told that I was supposed to be doing something else. So I have to take that and do what I was told to do. And I hope that you guys support me through it all. They will. I love and appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. I love you so, 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 so much. I really do, you guys. You already know I do. And also, the Instagram, the Fat Belly Fella Instagram is coming down. So if you want to follow my personal, you know, my personal page. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll. If you want to follow my personal page, I'm going to leave the title here. Okay, you follow that. I'm so sorry, y'all. I, I, I was triggered to say, Jesus, I love you. Ooh, 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 Jesus, I love you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 you can play this one. No, no, no. I, 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 I was just triggered because I just saw this fellow when you said you love him. I said, say, Jesus, I love you. Okay, you guys, I love y'all. Also, go check my boy out. Yes, no the Wiley much. Show. You'll be entertained <laughs> from, from beginning to end, middle, all of that. Okay, so go do all that good stuff. I love you guys, and yes. I will see you guys very, very soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love your tattoos. Thank you.